and to everybody else who's come all the way across town. Okay, so today we're scrubbing and lotioning, and I hope you all enjoy your scrub outside. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do this one. The one that you did outside actually was I put in dried rose petals from my garden and dried lemon verbena from my garden, and, and I put in rose and lemon fragrance. But the one that I'm going to show you today, we're doing I think mint and lemon. I think I think that's yeah, the mint leaves and I've got lemon fragrance. So that's the one I'm going to show you. But it's basically the same. You just change the options, okay? We're going to obviously be making a DVD of the class, which is what we're doing with this entire series. So, um, as we say, it's, it's, it's raw, and it's as is, we, we're not editing or anything. So, it will be available if you need reminders there. Okay. Okay, the Scrubs and Lotions class is not colourful, but you do learn the most extraordinary, extraordinary recipes, okay? And I always know that after this class, my hands feel marvelous. Um, what I'm going to do, as I make stuff, I'll, I'll let you try it. Okay, so maybe I'll make it and then pass it around or whatever. It could be a bit messy, but we'll, we'll do our best, okay? Um, normally, what I do is I kind of follow the recipe sheet as is. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start right at the back. And the reason for that is because those are the only things that need to see. So I would rather start with those and then and then we'll come back to the others straight after that. But at least while we've done these, then these can actually um, set. So at the end of the class I can show you what they're all about. Okay. Okay, on the last page, there are three very extraordinary recipes. Okay, one is a lotion bar. So that is a bar of lotion, body butter bar. Okay, with made of the richest, richest of oils. Nothing impure goes in there. Nothing. So you make that bar, you keep it in a box, you keep it in a container, and you just rub it all over your body after the bath or whenever you need to moisturize. Okay? I saw one of those, the idea I got was from the body shop. I saw it in the body shop bar five years ago. It was a 60 gram bar, it was 130 rand. We're talking five years ago, 130 rand for something this size. So you do understand that when you make these things up and they cost you 30 rand to make, don't think, oh my god, that's expensive. Think, yes, I know, it's pretty pricey in putting it together, but look what we can sell it for and look at the quality of it. Because it has got amazing quality. Okay. So we're going to do a lotion bar and then we're going to do bath butters. Okay. Which could essentially go into the bath products class, may even. But, but it's, it, it's just so similar to all the other recipes over here that we're going to do that as well. Basically, they're little butters that you make that you drop into the bath. When they melt in the bath, they look like butter melting in the bath. And you've got all these very rich, nutritious oils, which when you're sitting in the bath, you rub them into you. Okay? Very yum. And then we're doing the body butter candle, which is fabulous. It's, it's a candle made out of pure oils, no wax, no, 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 no funny things. Okay? That's going to, that, when it's set, I'm going to show you how it works. Basically, you, you fragrance it very strongly. That then goes into the bathroom. So let's say you're going to have a bath. That goes into the bathroom morning. It goes into the bath. You light it when you get into the bath. It makes the bathroom smell nice. Fabulous ambiance. When you get out of the bath, blow it out. And all that melted stuff around, you take it and you rub it into your skin. So that is, it's a warm body butter there melted and it's not too hot, okay? So that is done. That's a recipe that I brought out last year and I tell you a lot of people did that for Christmas gifts and it was a very popular Christmas gift. Not Again, not cheap, cheap to make. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's like 45 or 55 grand to make. But go and buy one out there because you don't find a lot of them. But when you do see them out there, they're 300 grand. Okay. So, we're going to start with those three. We're starting with the three recipes right at the back, the last three recipes. Okay, so I've been melting over here. I've got, I know what I've got over here because look, I've written, I've written on my containers what they are, because otherwise I, they all look pretty similar when they're melted and I won't know what's what. So I've got my avo butter, my shea butter, my, I think I can switch it this so, um, and my cocoa butter all melted, and my beeswax as well all melted. Okay, 
the beeswax comes in little things like this, little pellets, okay? Still smells of honey, very natural, it's lovely, but it's not like those difficult blocks where you have to work out um, how to break it and how to work, you know, bits and pieces. So you also don't have to clean bee legs out of it, because it's all being really clean, okay? Um, right. So, before we start the class, what are we doing? Everybody's going to put a candle for tonight because it's Earth Day today. And you have to switch off everything in your house. I'm going to pass these around. All your electricity between half past eight and half past nine. And so, there we go. There's a candle to keep you company while you do it, if you do it, should you choose to do it. Okay. Lotion gone, getting out of my mold. A bath wash is getting out of my mold. My body but a candle and getting out. Right. And these things come blizzards all the time. But I bought these a bigger pad of the cheap. And they're fabulous to use, part of the fact that they don't have something to hold. You, you know, you can't grab them because they heat them. You know, then that's a problem. But what's good about them is just the quantity that they take. You know, you can do lots of little things without having lots of pots all around. So I use these and I find them very useful. Okay, so um, let's start right on top with the lotion bar, okay? Now, okay, let's just say another thing over here. All my recipes will say, Tablespoons. I'm just looking to see if there's anything over here that says teaspoon. Okay. Basically, all my recipes the measurements are like tablespoons. This is not a tablespoon, it's a dessert spoon. Okay, as we all know, which is smaller than a tablespoon. It doesn't matter, providing you always keep to the same. So if it says six tablespoons of the six tablespoons of the six tablespoons of the six tablespoons of that, you can use dessert spoons, you can use soup spoons, or you can use teaspoons if you want a smaller batch. So long as you use the same spoon for everything. So, so you just follow those, you know, you just follow the ingredients. But you're always using the same spoon, nothing's going to go wrong. You're just going to make a big or smaller batch. Stands to reason. Okay. So here we go, lotion bar. We need four tablespoons of cocoa butter. This is my cocoa butter. Mm -hmm. What happened to my towel? Did you take my towel? Not you. Sorry. Must have fallen off. Okay. We're going to have to pick these up because they're going to be very hot. Um, I forgot to bring it, so we're using sweet almond oil. 